welcome to ratio sharing uh, just before we start just a reminder that there is a notes chatter available for this video check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video so in this video we're going to look at how we can actually share amounts out in a given ratio and so for the first question we're told that gordon and hannah share 200 pounds in the ratio of two to three how much money do they each receive well, the first thing I want to do in every single one of these questions is I want to draw myself a diagram. Um, and the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to use a bar and I'm going to separate it out into the number of pieces we've been told. So two and three. If I bring that together, that is five pieces in total. And so I'm going to draw a bar that has five pieces. Now, all I then need to do is separate this bar out so that I know who is getting what. So Gordon is the first part of this ratio. He is receiving two parts. And so I'm going to label Gordon as the first section. And the three that are left here is Hannah. Now, the other thing we know about this is that they are sharing £200. And so this whole bar represents £200. And so all I want to do is work out what each of those little blocks must be worth. So we had £200 and we needed to share it into five pieces. So five goes into 20, uh, 200, zero, four, zero. It goes in 40 times. And that means that every block must be worth £40. Now, if that is the case, how much does each person get? Well, Gordon is getting two of those £40. So Gordon is going to get £80. And Hannah is getting three of them, 40, 80, 120. At this point, we just want to check, does that seem sensible? Well, if we add these two together, 80 plus 120, it brings us back to the 200 that we began with. And so that is a good indication that we've got the right answer. So £80 for Gordon, £120 for Hannah. We're then told that 140 people watching a school football match. The ratio of adults to children is 3 to 4. How many children are watching the match? Well, again, I want to draw myself a picture just to keep track of what's going on. So in this case, three parts and four parts. If I bring that together, it means I would have seven blocks. And those seven blocks, well, they are 140 people because that is the full attendance of the match. Now, the three to four, let's separate that out. Three to four. And let's just have a look at the order it comes. It's adults to children. So adults are the first group and children the second group. Now, if 140 people were at the match and that is split into seven equal blocks, well, I need to do 140 divided by seven. Well, that goes in 20 times. And so every block must be a block of 20 people and so we wanted to know in this question how many children are watching the match well that means we're actually only interested here in the very last piece 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20 that is 80 children And lastly, there are 60 sweets in a bag and the ratio of orange to strawberry to apple is 2 to 7 to 3. How many strawberry sweets are there? Well, again, I want to draw myself a diagram, but in this case I need to take into account that there are three parts to my ratio, 2 to 7 to 3. Well, in total, that's 2, 9, 12 blocks. And so I've drawn 12 squares. And... I'm just going to mark on what the ratio actually suggests. So there are two parts, and then there are seven parts, and then there are three parts. And in order, that is orange, that is strawberry, and that is apple. And so all we know at this stage is that in total, 
there are 60 different suites. Now, how will I work out what each individual block is worth? Well, that is going to be 60 divided by 12. And 60 divided by 12 is 5. So every one of these blocks is worth 5. And we've been asked how many strawberry sweets there are. So in this case, we're only dealing with the central piece. How many blocks are there? There are seven, so that is seven times five. You could just do it by counting up, but seven times five is 35 strawberry sweets. Now, the next set of examples are a slight variation on this. Um, it tells us that Jeff and Helen share some money in the ratio one to four, and Helen receives 64 pounds. How much do they have to share in total? Now, here is the big difference. They share some money. We don't actually know how much they had to begin with. But what we do know is the ratio was one to four. And so we can set it up in the same way as we have the previous questions. We can draw ourselves a bar with five blocks. And again, we can split it to represent where the different people are. So we have Jeff. And we have Helen. And Helen receives £64. Now, this is the key in here in this case. It means that Helen's section is worth 64. And so 64 is only four blocks in this case. And so we need to work out what 64 divided by 4 is. And so that is telling me that each of these blocks is 16. Now with ratio every piece must be worth exactly the same and therefore Jeff's portion is also 16. And the question was how much do they have to share in total and so now we want to add Jeff's 16 to Helen's 64 and so the total that they originally had must have been 80 pounds. In the next one, there are 12 boys in the class. The rest are girls. The ratio of girls to boys is 4 to 3. How many girls are in the class? Well, again, we don't actually know the total amount, but we do know a ratio. So as soon as we see that ratio, we should be thinking about drawing a bar, this time with seven blocks, and the ratio is 4 to three and it's the ratio of girls to boys and so the first part is girls and the second part is boys and the information we were given were that there was 12 boys and so this section for boys must be 12. Therefore we want to work out what each individual block is worth and so the blocks in this case it's going to be 12 divided by 3 which means 4. And so every single block in our bar is worth four. And the question was, how many girls are there? And so if we know there were 12 boys, well, if we count up how many girls, four plus four plus four plus four, that is 16. So 16 girls. Okay, and then a shop is selling mobile phones and in one day they sold Samsung, Apple and LG phones in the ratio 3 to 5 to 1. They sold 30 Apple phones. How many phones did they sell in total? Um, so again, we need to just be thinking here about the ratio. We don't know what the total amount is. We only know about the Apple phones, but it's got a ratio of 3 to 5 to 1. So straight away, what I can do is say, well, 3 plus 5 plus 1, that is 9 pieces. So I need a bar with nine blocks. And again, all I want to do is separate it out into the three, the five, and the one. And so Samsung, Apple, LG. And we were told that they sold 30 Apple phones. And so this part of our ratio must be 30. And all we need to know is what each individual piece is worth. And so that, uh, that 30 is from five blocks. So 30 divided by five equals six. 
and that tells me that each of these blocks is worth six but also every block in the ratio is worth six and so how many did they sell in total well samsung that was three lots of six 18 lg well that was one lot of six six so let's add all of those together 18 plus 30 plus six well that is 54 phones and our final set of examples are another slight variation on the same theme um, and so in the first one tom and malik share some money in the ratio two to three malik receives 25 pounds more than tom how much do they share in total now again we don't know a total amount but what we do have straight away is a ratio two to three meaning we can draw five blocks and five blocks are going to be separated as two to three there is tom there is malik and it says that malik receives 25 pounds more than tom now in this case the important feature is where is the difference between what tom gets and what malik gets well in this case it is one block malik gets one block more than tom and therefore that block must be worth 25 pounds but if remember with ratio if one block is worth 25 then every block is worth 25 and so the question was how much do they share in total well tom is getting two lots of 25 he's getting 50 pounds malik is getting three lots of 25 75 pounds and so in total they have received 125 pounds in the next one we're talking about the ratio of girls to boys in a class and it's three to one there are six more girls than boys how many boys are in the class well again the key feature is the ratio of three to one let's draw that first three blocks to one block now the uh, three is the girls and the one is the boys and it says that there are six more girls so again we need to be thinking here what is more in the girls section than the boys well the boys section is only one square and so these two pieces will be the same amount the bit that is extra is actually two blocks and so there are six more meaning that those two blocks must be worth six people and if two blocks are worth six then each of those is actually worth three and that means that's worth three and that's worth three it tells me that in total there are 50, uh, there are 12 students in the class and three of them are boys and so three boys in the class And finally we're back to the mobile phone shop in one day they sold samsung apple and lg phones in the ratio of three to five to one and they sold 20 more apple phones than lg how many phones did they sell in total well again the key is the ratio let's draw ourselves a bar that represents three to five to one that is three to five to one and the first section is our Samsung, then our Apple, and then our LG. And we were told it was 20 more Apple than LG. So what is the difference between the Apple section and the LG section? Well, LG is only one square. And so the bit that is extra for Apple is four blocks. Those four blocks are 20 forms. And so each individual block is going to be 20 divided by 4 it's going to be 5 5 5 5 and remember again that means that every single block in that bar is worth 5 and the question was how many did they sell in total well we have nine blocks each of them with five in it and so they must have sold 45 
phones in total. And so we come to the exam question. It was from the Edexcel paper in November 2017. It was foundation paper one. Um, and we were told that Harry, Regan and Keelan share £450 in the ratio of 2 to 5 to 3. How much money does Keelan get? So straight away here, let's just draw ourselves our bar. I know I need two blocks for Harry. I need one, two, three, four, five blocks for Regan. And I need three blocks for Keelan. And we've been told that they had £450 to share. And therefore, the 450 is covering the entire bar. How many blocks is that in total? Well, it's 2, 7, 10. So I want to work out what 450 divided by 10 is. And that is quite simply 45. And therefore, all of the bars, uh, all the blocks, sorry, in the bar are 45. And then the last question, how much does Keelan get? Well, that means we're looking at the final section. That is 45 and 45 and 45. 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15. So 5, 9, 13. Keelan would get 135 pounds. Mm -hmm.